Right? Your freedoms mean absolutely nothing to the 1% who are truly the slave masters. And do you know what they do on the 4th of July? They sit back and they laugh at you. They laugh at the slave who thinks he's free. People only believe that they are free because they bought into the lie. They believe the illusion is real. They think a 9 to 5 that only pays them enough to survive check to check is freedom. They think that only only nice things like a house or car makes them free. They believe having phones, TVs, games, computers, and internet makes them free. They can't see how these devices are mentally enslaving them, even though they came out with the documentary called The Social Dilemma, telling you exactly how they are using technology and social media to control your minds and social media to control your minds. There are millions of homeless people on the streets of America with nothing to eat and nowhere to go. How they are using technology and social media to control your minds. There are millions of homeless people on the streets of America with nothing to eat and nowhere to go. See, some people got it twisted. I am not against America. I'm not against celebrating a holiday like the 4th of July. I am not supporting division by pointing out the facts about history and origins of the 4th of July. However, I am against celebrating this holiday in the wrong way. Why are we literally blowing up hundreds, thousands, and in a few people's cases, millions on fireworks? Galatians chapter 5 verse 13 says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love. So as far as I'm concerned, don't celebrate the 4th of July at all. If you want to give somebody some uh, money, or somebody food just because they on the street and they homeless, that's one thing. But don't celebrate the 4th of July. Serve one another. When I read this verse, it tells me something about how we are celebrating these holidays the wrong way. Instead of blowing money up on fireworks, food, and to satisfy our own flesh, how about we start spending the money that we were going to spend on ourselves for our own pleasure on serving the homeless, the needy, our communities. That's what I call being a patriot. That's how you flex your so-called freedoms until we come together and fix this broken, divided, in selfish country, we don't have any business popping a single firework until we have true freedom, true justice, and all men are truly treated as equal, then what are we really celebrating? We are celebrating a lie because the fourth of you lie. I decided to release this video today because this was the day, July 5th, that Frederick Douglass gave his famous 4th of July speech. And when I hear the words of Frederick Douglass, I understand his words don't just apply to black American slaves. His words apply to all of us today, the white, black, and brown people of this nation, because truthfully, we are all modern day slaves. Fellow citizens, and allow me to ask, why am I called upon to speak here today? What have I, or those I represent, to do with your national independence? Are the great principles of political freedom and of natural justice embodied in that Declaration of Independence extended to us? And am I, therefore, called upon to bring our humble offering? to the national altar and to confess their benefits and express devout gratitude for the blessings resulting from your independence to us. I am not included within the pale of this glorious anniversary. Your high independence only reveals the immeasurable distance between us. The blessings in which you this day rejoice are not enjoyed in common the rich inheritance of justice, liberty, prosperity, and independence bequeathed by your fathers is shared by you, not by me. The sunlight that brought life and healing to you has brought stripes and death to me. This 4th of July is yours. 
not mine. You may rejoice, I must mourn. To drag a man in fetters into the grand illuminated temple of liberty and call upon him to join you in joyous anthems for in human mockery and sacrilegious agony. Do you mean, citizens, to mock me by asking me to speak to them? What to the American slave is your fourth of July? I answer, day that reveals for him more than all other days of the year the gross injustice and cruelty which he is a constant thing. To him, your celebration is a sin. Your boasted liberty, your holy license, your national greatness, swelling vanity, your sounds of rejoicing are empty and pompous, your denunciation tactics, brass funded impudence, your shouts of liberty and equality, how mockery, your prayers and hymns, your sermons and thanksgivings, with all your religious parade and solemnity, are the hymn of bombast. There's not a nation of the earth guilty of practices more shocking and bloody than are the people of these United States at this very time. A time like this, scorching irony, not convincing argument, is needed. Oh, had I the ability and could reach the nation's ear I would today pour forth a stream, a fiery stream of biting ridicule, blasting reproach, withering sarcasm, and stern rebuke. For it is not light that is needed, but fire. It is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, the earthquake. The feeling of the nation must be quickened. Rebuke and ridicule, blasting reproach, withering sarcasm and stern rebuke, for it is not light that is needed, but thunder. It's not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the world the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, the earthquake. The feeling of the nation must be quickened. The conscience of the nation must be roused. The piety of the nation must be stopped. Democracy is exposed to the mind of God and man. Be, be quickened. The nation must be roused. The propriety of the nation must be stopped. The hypocrisy of the nation must be exposed to the mind more shocking and bloody than are the people of these United States. At a time like this, scorching irony, not convincing argument, is needed. Oh, had I the ability and could reach the nation's ear, I would today pour forth a stream, a fiery stream of biting ridicule, blasting reproach, withering sarcasm, and stern rebuke. For it is not light that is needed. It is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, the earthquake. The feeling of the nation must be quickened. The conscience of the nation must be roused. The propriety of the nation must be startled. The hypocrisy of the nation must be exposed. And the crimes against God and man must be proclaimed and denounced. But what are your thoughts? Sound off in the comment section and let me know. And because there will be no Up TV without viewers like you, I would like to give a special shout out to anybody who has donated or supported the channel in any type of way.